District Attorney, starring David Bryan. Mr. District Attorney, champion of the people, defender of truth, guardian of our fundamental rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And it shall be my duty as district attorney not only to prosecute to the limit of the law all persons accused of crimes perpetrated within this county, but to defend with equal vigor the rights and privileges of all its citizens. This is David Bryan. In a moment, we'll bring you another case from the files of Mr. District Attorney. But first, a word from our sponsor. And now, here is our star, David Bryan, as Paul Garrett, Mr. District Attorney. A modern gambling ring with its well-organized system of payoffs can be a tough nut for a district attorney to crack. But like little Davy Calero, syndicate enforcer for a big-time policy wheel and book operator, someone in the ring eventually makes the mistake of arousing unfavorable public opinion. Early one overcast Sunday morning, a big coupe rolls into the western entrance to a wooded park. A stunning blonde is driving. Bridal path crosses the road just up ahead, Nicky. We'll wait here. Better put on gloves for this job. Davy, killing a judge ain't smart. I don't like it. All right, you already said that. If I'd known it was this kind of job, I wouldn't have come along. Don't touch that gun. Here, I'll take it. Only going to be one set of prints on this gun when the cops find it. You're going to hang it on Louis? Any objection? The cops will remember how a sawed-off Betsy used to be Louis' trademark. And they'll remember how he blew his top when Judge Power sentenced him. Told the judge he'd look him up when he got out. There's the judge now. Start her up, Davy. Davy, I tell you, this is no. Stop that motor. Davy. Now, quick. <laughs> up by that crossing. Near up, baby. Hold it like that. This is the last ride his honor will ever take. Now, get out of here fast. If the boys picked up Louie on schedule, we'll get his prints on this gun and I... Hey, look out! The curb! <laughs> Just dumb Darwin's watch where you're driving. That's a fresh painted curb. You heard me, Davy. And I'm scared. Morning, Chief. Too bad to call you out on Sunday. Yeah, it goes along with the job, Harrington. Need all this area roped off? Well, there's skid marks and a tire curb rub over there. Yeah, good enough. Judge Tower, eh? Yeah. Took the body in about five minutes ago. The medical examiner thinks it was a shotgun job. I'll let you know later. Good friend of mine, Judge. Fine man. Didn't make him any better. Dirty, lousy rats. Gang job, huh? I don't know, Harrington. Never pays to jump to conclusions. But I do know that no man was more hated and feared by the mobs. He knew that, but he wouldn't have a bodyguard. You'd think he'd have seen the handwriting on the wall, Chief. Yeah, especially with Jiggs Minetti held in protective custody and bound over to the grand jury. Yeah. What you got on it? I go along with the police. They think Louis Cato did the job. And he could be. Who found the judge? Some people named McDonald's. Man and wife on their way to church. You talk with them? Yeah. Mm, got their address. They both heard two shots at the time. They thought it was a truck backfiring, and they just kept driving along. And they saw the judge lying at the edge of the road uh, right over there. What time was this? Mm, 8.30, about a half hour ago. No other witnesses? No. Not yet, anyway. 
McDonald said that just before they got here, they passed a car going in the other direction. Big coupe or sedan, not sure which. Uh, black. You want the lab crew on those skid marks, Chief? Uh-huh. Also on that curb. It's not a checkup on service stations and garages in this area. From the looks, some of that red paint rubbed off on the tire. Oh, uh, I didn't call Miss Miller. Didn't know whether you'd need her or not. No, we'll get along. Let's not interrupt her day of rest. I'll be at the office in about an hour, Harrington. After I get the medical examiner's report, I'm going to question Jiggs Manetti. Doubt if he'll talk. He might drop a lead, though. Chief, I still think this job was signed. Who signed it? The hood the police have the APB out for. Louis Cato. Well, Miss Miller... Good morning, Mr. Garrett. Oh, I didn't expect... Uh, I mean, I told Harrington not to call you. He didn't. I heard the radio report. I knew you'd be flooded with calls. I found this note from Harrington. Well, thanks. He's over with the police, searching Louis Cato's room. All kinds of messages have been coming in for you, Mr. Garrett. Here's the list of calls. Well, look who's here. Changed your mind, eh, Chief? No, no, she came in on her own accord. <laughs> well, how about that? Beats all how she brightens this place up. Oh, aren't you sweet, Harrington? I got your note. Find anything over there? Paul Letty. Exhibit A, an old sawed-off shotgun in Cato's room closet. Half a dozen shells. And that's the murder weapon. Louis's not as smart as I thought. Now, did you find anything else? Yeah, this snapshot. Found it in a coat pocket, same closet. Uh... Nifty little doll, huh? Mm, not bad. Taken some time ago, I'd say. What's the style of that dress, Miss Miller? Oh, about ten years ago, ten or twelve. Think she looks like a blonde? Well, I ask Louie if and when he's picked up. Let's give McDonald a look at this snapshot, Harrington. Took the words right out of my mouth, Chief. Now, let's go. Oh, uh, Miss Miller. Yes? Glad you came in. I call that fast work, Chief. It's only four o'clock, and they just brought Louis Cato in here to headquarters. Did you tell him we'd be in Captain Donovan's office? Yep. They'll have him in here in a minute. You ought to know more about this snapshot than your man McDonald did, Harrington. Well, that car was going pretty fast. And... Yeah, sure, I know. Here's your man, Mr. Garrett. Thanks, Rooney. Wait outside, please. Yes, sir. Sit down, Louis. That chair. Never mind. So they picked you up across the river. Yeah. At Harriman Square, Chief. Thought you could get away with it, eh? I don't know what you're talking about. The murder of Judge Tower. Look, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Got an alibi? Now, how could I? They rigged it against me. You can't have an alibi when it's rigged against you. Who rigged it? I don't know. If you didn't get the judge, why did you duck out, Louis? I got nothing more to say. Take a look at this snapshot, Louis. <laughs> We're going to call on her next. Hey, where'd you get this? You know her? Now, look, you guys let her alone, you see? She's done nothing about this. You keep away from her. What's her name, Louie? Never mind. We can find out easily enough. But you promise to leave her alone, I'll tell you. No promises. We'll have Captain Donovan's boys find her. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you. Her name is Nikki Brendan. But if you think she knows something about that job, you're crazy. Now, look... I've been nice. I told your name. You let her alone, huh? All right, Rooney. Take him away. Yes, sir. Hey, can I keep this picture? Sorry, Louie. We may need it. Harrington, get over across the river and talk to the arresting officer. Find somebody else in the square if you can who saw Louie. Right, Chief. Uh, what about this dame? I'm going to have her traced. Get on the job, Harrington. Fast. District Attorney's Office. Good morning, Captain. No, he's not yet. 
Oh, you bet I will. Just let me get a pencil. All right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. I got it. Oh, it's a switch. No, thank you, Captain. Good morning, Mr. Garrett. Good morning, Miss Miller. How are you today? It's fine, thanks. Are you already in yet? He's done a ballistic. Captain Donovan just phoned about Nikki Brandon. I'd better read my notes to you during shorthand. All right. 31 years old, originally from Albany. One charge of shoplifting there, now Prost. Uh, here's one for the book, Mr. Garrett. She races jalopies there. Hmm. What else? He was a girlfriend of Louis Cato until he went to prison. Since then, a friend of little Davy Caleros. That's all I have. Good morning, Harrington. Good morning, Chief. Hey, here's the photo blow-ups from the lab. Louis Cato's fingerprints. Prints taken from gun stock. One set. No prints on the forestock or the barrels. They didn't give me anything on that. Miss Miller, call the lab. Tell them I want to blow up on the exact position of those fingerprints on that gun. Yes, sir. Now, Harrington, let's go talk to a blonde. Any time, Chief. Place, Chief. Yeah. Cost money to live in one of these apartments. Who is it? District Attorney. Open the door, please. You Nikki Brendan? Yeah. Did you say District Attorney? And Assistant. Mind if we come in? Look, Chief, on the man. Mug shot of Calero. <laughs> Must have been taken in the show up line. Don't get smart. All right, what is it? I'll be brief, Nikki. Why did Louie get Judge Tower? Who? Louie Cato. Well, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Uh, we heard a woman was driving the getaway car. How about it? Well, don't talk to me. There's lots of women in this town. Go talk to some of them. They might know. I don't. Well, well. Hiya, Davy. Didn't know you had company, Davy. They invited themselves in. They can leave any time. How's the syndicate doing, Davy? What syndicate? Are <laughs> you kidding? We thought Nicky might know the trigger man on the park job. You know, Davy. Judge Tower. Why would she know? Maybe you know. Yeah, I do. What? This extra's just out. Look at that headline. Ex-con confesses Tower murder. Cato admits guilt. How do you like that? Anything else you guys want to know? Keep in touch with us, Davy. There might be. This is David Bryan. Before we continue with Mr. District Attorney in the case of the Bridal Path murder, here is an important message from our sponsor. Now, back to David Bryan, starring as Paul Garrett, Mr. District Attorney. When Louis Cato was paroled from prison, the word was that he was going straight. But because he threatened Judge Tower after being sentenced some years before, Louis was arrested shortly after the judge was murdered. Although all the evidence pointed to Louis, I believed his story that he'd been rigged or framed. But while I was questioning Nikki Brendan, his one-time mall, in walked her current boyfriend, little Davy Calero, with an extra edition that told of Louis' confession. Now, back at the office... There's a tape of Louis Cato's confession in your office, Mr. Garrett. Captain Donovan sent it over. And we'd better hear it, huh? Yep. A hold any calls that aren't important. Yes, sir. Put it on, Harrington. Right away, Chief. Miss Miller? Yes? How soon will the lab have those new fingerprint blow-ups up here? 
Well, they should be here soon, Mr. Garrett. Call them again. I want it rushed. Yes, sir. Are you ready, Chief? Yeah. Here she goes. All right, Louis. Uh, my name is Louis Cato. I killed Judge Tower. I say this of my own free will, under no coer- co- coercion. No coercion. I killed him with a shotgun in the park. I was hiding in the bushes. When he rode his horse past where I was, I fired both barrels. Then I put the shotgun into my coat. I walked back to my room. That is all. The version of Louis Cato at police headquarters on the date of August 9th. Shut it off. So he walked back to his room. That means he must have walked to the park. What do you make of it, Chief? And so much baloney. I'll buy that. Look, Harrington, we're going to bear it down. I want every service station and garage for a mile around the park area checked. Will do, Chief. Uh, but those skid marks and curb rubs, well, they just could have been made by a Sunday driver. We'll find out. And I want Davy Calero tailed. Spot the station where he has his car serviced. Get me a full report on his car. Where he goes, what he does, whom he talks to. The works. <laughs> you are bearing down. Now, don't kid yourself, Harrington. There's plenty more to this than a punk triggerman making good a threat. The syndicate's behind it. If we can trap that gang of rats, we're going to do it. Yeah? Those new blow-ups are here, Mr. Garrett. No, I'll be right out. If you want me within the next hour, Harrington, I'll be over at the city jail. I'm going to talk to Louie again. I'll be just a minute, Hagan. Seem natural to be back in, Louie? Never mind. Well, this is a tougher rap than holding up a supermarket. If you think I'm going to talk, you're wrong. I'll do most of the talking. That shotgun the police found in your room closet. Was that the one you used? Yeah. Show me how you picked up the gun when you shot the judge. What do you mean, how did I pick it up? By the barrel? By the stock? I don't know. I just picked it up. With one hand? No, with both hands. Look, what's this all about? You were holding it upside down when you fired, weren't you? Who's going to fire a gun upside down? Then show me how you were holding it. Never mind, never mind. I said show me, Louis. Hey, why don't you leave me alone? According to the one set of fingerprints on that gun, you were holding it upside down. You're crazy. I'll make a guess, Louis. That mobster who wanted your fingerprints on that gun was in such a hurry, he didn't notice he handed it to you upside down, right? No. No. You didn't kill Judge Tower. Look, I did. I did. I swear I did. What are you trying to do? Keep you out of the hot seat, Louis. Unless you talk out of the right side, the odds are 100 to 1 against you. Talk to Louie again, Chief? Oh, not since the other day. Donovan questioned him this morning, my request. Couldn't shake his story. Louie says he killed the judge, and then clams up. Well, maybe we'll find something at this garage. We most there? Yep, around the next corner. Garage and tire recap shop. Got overlooked in the first checkup. You spotted it this noon? Yeah, mostly by luck. Drove in for gasoline. Boss was out to lunch. The kid said sure he knew my pal, Davy Calero. That Davy tipped him five bucks for putting on four new tires last Monday. Yeah, might be it, Harrington. Kid didn't know what the boss had done with the old set. Oh, there's the place, Chief. Anderson's. Drive right up in. I didn't see the lab report. Were there any tire specs on the curb? Yes, white sidewalls. Are you Anderson? That's right. What can I do for you? A couple of minutes of your time. I'm the district attorney. Here's my identification. Uh-oh. <laughs> what have I done that's wrong? As far as I know, nothing. Is Davy Calero a customer of yours? Yeah. Yeah, he comes in here. 
Regular customer? Yeah, we service his car. He lives just off the boulevard over there. What does he drive? The car's over in the wash rack now. Uh, that big coupe. I'll go look it over, Chief. All right. Understand Calero had four new tires put on last Monday. Oh, that's right. Did he buy them here? Um, yeah. Yeah, he bought them here. Say, I hope it's okay to tell you all this. You know, he's a good customer. I don't want to... Wouldn't it be okay if you didn't? Oh, no offense, mister. You got the other tires? Yeah, I, I guess so. Don't you know? Yeah, we get a lot of them. Hard to keep track of all of them. Maybe we already recapped them. We'll take a look in the shop. Do you wash tires before you recap them? That's right. We do here. We do a good job. Solution? That's right. My own formula. Cleans off dirt, stains, just like that. Paint, too? Yeah, sure. You got white side walls? You ought to try my formula, mister. Let's see. That'd be uh, 76015. Uh, I'll take a look. Well, that could be the car, Chief. You want the help of the lab? No, not yet, Harrington. Maybe later. I got the information on it. Here they are, mister. All recap? Give you a good deal on it. There'll be no deal, Anderson. I'll see you don't lose anything, though. Have the lab crew pick him up, Harrington. Right. It's a long shot, but it's the only one we've got. I know a good restaurant out along the shore, baby. If we get some lunch by the ocean, maybe you'll feel better. Did they bring over the car? Anderson said he'd have it here by 2 o'clock. It's after 2 now. Well, I don't see it. Ah, those bums. They never get nothing done on time. Well, I'll go back up and call them. Now, we can walk to the garage, baby. Come on. They're always late. All right, all right. It ain't important. Anyway, it's got you talking again, baby. Last couple of days, I began to think you lost your voice. Davey, how do you figure it? Figure what? You know, Louis K.O. signed his name to that job. I told you a half dozen times, Nicky. Maybe he thinks the job was too well rigged against him. And if he takes the rap, the syndicate will get him a mouthpiece, get him out of the chair. I wonder. Okay, you figure it. You think Louis knows we was in on it? He's got an idea. He knows I'm the enforcer. Well, I mean, do you think... You think he knows I was in on it? What's the difference what he knows, baby? Now, live enough a little, will you? Come on, live enough. I can't, Davey. It don't feel right. You're going out looking for trouble? Look, Louis signed it. That's all there is. Yeah, but those cops coming to my place. They have to make that job look good. We ain't got a thing to worry about. There's the car the kid's still working on. I hope you're right, Davey. About not worrying. But there's another thing. Those tires. I wish you'd had them burn. When I scrape that I curtain... tell you, we're in the clear now. Shut up about it. Hey, Anderson, ain't you got any idea of time? I'm sorry, Mr. Clary. Want to do a good polish job for you, too. Okay, okay. Always excuse. Come on, let's get going, Davey. I want to take those other tires along, Davey. Put them in the chair. Listen, I... I ain't kidding. I mean it. Please. <sighs> okay. Bring them out, Anderson. The tires I turned in for these. They're not here, Mr. Clary. Sell them? Oh, no. Uh, the police car came and picked them up. Oh? Well, get my car and hurry. She's wise to anything, Chief. She may not come to the door. And we'll get in. Open the door, Nikki. We know you're in there. I don't be in such a hurry. What do you want? Hey, quit shoving, will you? You've got no manners at all. Nikki, I understand you drove in jalopy races in Albany. But what if I did? You want a lot of them, too, they tell me. You're a good driver. Good enough to be on the syndicate payroll. I don't know what you're talking about. You'll find out right away, Blondie. And I can't understand you rubbing that curb, Nicky. That was a big mistake. Because the police lab crew found a couple of tiny specks of red paint left on the tire. The same paint that was on that curb. What are you trying to say? That you drove the getaway car from the murder of Judge Tower. That's a lie. I don't know anything about it. You were seen, Nicky. You were crying. I tell you, it's a lie. You got Louis Cato, he talked, he's the trigger man. I've checked Louis all along the line. He's straight. Only thing wrong is him doing a Galahad for a dame like you. Uh, he must be real dumb. Where's Davy? Uh, I don't know. Chief, she looked at the closet door. Oh, 
Let's see. It's not here in there. Watch it. No, you're not. Get out, take me, copper. Put down the gun, Davy. Stand back. Back around, let your hand. You can't get away, Davy. The police are out in the corridor. They got the building surrounded, too. I told you to burn those tires, ah, Davy. You'll die. I should have gone back to Louis. You should have gone back. I'll take it. There we are. Good work, Harrington. Okay, I'll go along. Put on your coat, Nicky. You're going along, too. It's the end of the road for both of you. This is David Bryan again. I hope you've enjoyed this case from the file of Mr. District Attorney. I'll be back in just a moment after this message from our sponsor. Now, here is the star of Mr. District Attorney, David Bryan, with a word about the program you have just heard. You may remember the case. Nicky talked. So did Jiggs Minetti. And we not only got all the goods on little Davy Calero, but we put enough of the syndicate big guns behind the bars to break the organization. Davy was convicted of murder in the first degree. Nicky got 20 years. When crime gets too big, it gets careless. Then the law takes over. Always. And now this is David Bryan inviting you to join us when we present our next case based on the facts of crime from the files of Mr. District Attorney. Mr. District Attorney was originated by Philip H. Lord. Mm-hmm.